Ever wish you could record a conversation you've had on the phone with someone, but not sure how to go about it? If so, you're in luck. I'm Jessica from techboomers.com. In this video, we're going to tell you about three different methods you can use to record phone calls on your iPhone. Now let's get started. The first method involves finding an app you can use to record a phone call. Open the App Store and search for a call recording app. There are plenty of options for apps like this, both free and paid, so you should be able to find one. We would recommend checking out reviews on various apps that interest you to help you decide which call recording app will work best for you. Here are a few call recording apps you could consider. First up, we have Tapacall Pro. This app has great reviews on the App Store and elsewhere online. Though its $9.99 price point may sound a little steep, it's still much less expensive than purchasing a high-quality external recording device. Tape a Call Pro allows you to record an unlimited amount of incoming and outgoing calls. It also has options to easily export or share your recordings with Google Drive, Facebook, Twitter, and more. Second is Call Recorder Plus. This one also offers the ability to record both incoming and outgoing phone calls. It is less expensive to download at just $3.99, but it does require in-app purchases based on how much you'd like to record. You can buy recording credits depending on how many recordings you want to be able to use. Each credit you purchase is valid for a recording up to 60 minutes in length. Third, we have No Notes. No Notes is an awesome call recording app because not only does it offer the option to record incoming and outgoing calls, it also has the ability to transcribe your call for you as well. This way, you can have both an audio recording and a text document outlining your conversations. The app is available for free on the App Store, and each user is allowed 20 minutes of free recording per month. If you require more recording time, you can make in-app purchases to get more time. Last up is Call Log Pro. This app has less features than some of the others we mentioned, but it's free to download and use. You can only record outgoing calls made through the app, but not incoming calls. You can record up to two minutes of conversation for free, and after that, you'll have to pay for more recording time. Your recordings are saved within the app and can be exported if you wish. If you don't want to download a third-party app to record your phone calls, you can instead opt to record your calls with a different device. There are voice recording devices that plug into your phone's headphone jack that can work for this purpose. If you put your call on speakerphone, you could also use a regular voice recorder or dictaphone rather than one that plugs into your headphone jack. These types of devices will allow you to record your conversation and save it as an audio file for you to keep. If you'd like to record a phone call using tools that are already available to you, something you could consider is using your voicemail inbox to record a phone conversation. Here's how. The first step is to make a call as you normally would. Tap phone on your home screen and dial the person you'd like to talk to. After the person you're calling answers your call, be sure to let them know that you'd like to record the rest of your call. Once they give you their permission, tap Add Call. Now dial your own phone number to reach your voicemail inbox. After you hear your voicemail greeting play and message recording has begun, tap Merge Calls to create a conference call between your voicemail and the person you called first. Continue your call and your conversation will be recorded to your voicemail inbox. After you've hung up the call, you can check your voicemail messages to find a recording of your conversation. Those are all of the methods you can use to record phone calls on your iPhone. We hope one of these methods works out for you. There are a couple other things we think would be good for you to keep in mind when recording phone calls, so let's go over those things now. Number one, before beginning to record a call with someone, you should always let them know that you want to record the call. You need to get consent from the other person before recording a phone call with them. In most places, recording a phone call without consent is illegal, so be sure to look into the laws in your area if you'd like to know more. Number two, in order to get the best quality of recording possible, you should always try to get into a quiet space where there won't be any background noise interfering with your phone call. Wind, air conditioners, fans, etc. can all cause background noise in a recording. 
Finally, number three. If you want to keep your conversations private, you should ensure that wherever you're storing your recorded phone calls is a secure storage space. If the audio files are saved to your device, be sure nobody else has access to your device without your knowledge. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below. Check out techboomers.com for over 100 free courses on all of today's most popular websites and apps.